Okay, everybody, welcome to your September 2023 tarot reading from me, yours truly. Okay, here are the decks I'm using. This is Cosmic Tarot. It's my favorite deck. By the way, I got new glasses. Can you tell? And then I'm going to use Druid Craft Tarot. It's in this really gigantic box, but I'm going to take it out of the box. It's just the book makes the box this large. And then the um, summary card, I'm going to pull it from the Rose, Oracle of the Roses. It's one of my favorite decks, even though it actually is kind of hard for me to read, but look how pretty these cards are. Look at that. Yeah, so nice. Okay, so let's get started on this reading. This has to do with teamwork. Okay, so September, now that we're at the end of September, teamwork makes the dream work, okay? That's what this card has to do with. It has to do with like um, the joy of working, maybe for whoever's watching this, they really like work more than their, and their work team more than their regular life or interpersonal relationships. Um, threes could be significant for this middle of September. All right, so this lady is in the past. This means that maybe she wasn't a good team member. Like the thing is with this Queen of Cups, she could be a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. If she has a tendency to be a little bit too emotional. So maybe she wasn't contributing here, and then she had to get on the get on board with the rest of the crazy wagon here or maybe she was involved with this team but at the beginning or the form for formation of the team now in the hidden position we have this king of swords so this king of swords person is a lot of air energy so it can be aquarius gemini libra energy you know he's in the hidden position so maybe he's hiding how much he likes this team you know maybe he is on this team to like get away from her because she, she is emotional and he is not emotional he's actually kind of aloof he's very smart um if they are in a relationship he's not the affectionate type so but maybe they're learning to work together or else he maybe have has some escapism at work or somebody might escape have some escapism at work which isn't a bad thing because this is a really really fun card this is about enjoying work for future we have the hanged man so maybe that's like near the end of October. It's about waiting or maybe not being motivated or kind of like waiting for the universe to make, move, make its mess. It, it's waiting for the universe to make its next move. So this is like meditating or this is just hanging out, waiting, like I said, for the universe. Um, now, this could also be if this is a love connection between these two that maybe it's more of like a work or business related connection more than anything else so in other words um they have made a financial arrangement to work together like teamwork rather than love she might not know this he knows this in the tendencies of development so this could be like at, into the end of october or something like that we have this Prince of Cups so this guy is very mysterious uh, he's another character coming in now if he is a version of the King of Swords if they're the same guy then this is the smart um, strategic version and then this is like his emotional more emotional self that comes out but this emotional part of him is way less developed in other words he's kind of immature emotionally and he hides his emotions but at, when it comes to intellect and um, being strategic and uh, or manipulative or being fair or using his air energy he's very good at that he's good at thinking um, strategizing understanding things analyzing things but when it comes to emotion he can't quite do this very well he can't quite process emotions well and so if this prince is a version of him it's like further into the future when he does try to connect to his emotional self he does struggle a lot and he can't really match her if not and this is a relationship this could be like her son she might feel like this this guy's her son because she's so much more advanced emotionally 
uh, or else it's just a newer person coming in but this guy the prince of cups generally like i said he hides his emotions so he has a tendency to be toxic or um, not express himself properly all right so let's move on to the next spread which is from the druid craft tarot i love this deck this book is fantastic it's just it's amazing and the images are great too so let me take it out this is what the box looks like i'm gonna take it out of the box now interesting stuff very very interesting stuff the center we have the six of pentacles which is work once again um it's about the joy of working loving their job work and play is synonymous so maybe when this person maybe it's the viewer or maybe it's who this reading is about this person really loves their job pentacles. loving their job you love your job or whoever this reading is about they love their job this is in the hidden position is four of pentacles so maybe even though they love their job, maybe it's not a really high paying job. So they're worried sometimes if they can make ends meet. And so this four of pentacles saying, yes, this person is able to make their ends meet. They are solvent. They are do very stable financially. They're stable, which is good because this person doesn't want to leave this job. They want to stay in this job. Yeah, weird. This is old guy in here almost looks like the hermit. Now, in the recent past, we have the four of cups. So maybe somebody is wondering about their living situation, if like this is the, the appropriate living situation for them, or um, maybe they recently made their home into a more comfortable place where it's more like a zen-like sanctuary. So if this does correspond with this lady, she is very dedicated to making her home a very zen-like area. And the reason is, is because she's very emotional and she needs to be in a calm surrounding all the time for her, for her place where she lives. This does have to do with like contemplation and thoughts and, but it's also about like feeling good where you live. So um, the home being a very calm place is important here now maybe what was going on is the home was calm but maybe this person wants to go to work to not be home for whatever reason so maybe it used to be calm and now it's kind of picking up like it's getting more chaotic so they'd rather stay at work than um the home because this is in the recent past so maybe last month this person wanted to stay home a lot or was a homebody and now they're like i just want to stay at work all day i don't want to go home We have the hanged man in the near future again, which is exactly what we have here. Waiting, waiting, waiting for divine providence to like do something. It also has to do with ambivalence. So the hanged man is like the perfect inaction figure, like not doing anything at all. Oh yeah, he is naked in there. Did you see? Mm -hmm. Yeah, anyways, there you go. I love these cards, okay. Anyways, maybe somebody feels tied up. Maybe somebody feels like they're bound against their will. Maybe somebody feels like when they're outside of work, they don't like being outside of work because they have no control over their life or they're very ambivalent about their life. Okay, so they seem to have a lot of direction in the workplace and then anything else is kind of like blase. Why are they even there? The high priestess. So maybe this is into the end of October. This is the High Priestess card. And so this is a very powerful, but also she can be quite nerdy and she can be she can be quite quiet. So even if she's empowered with knowledge and mysticism, this woman, she isn't necessarily social. She can be quite misunderstood. Um, the High Priestess after all is a two. So twos have to do with accumulation. So like she's accumulating knowledge she might be hoarding knowledge, but either way, she's extremely knowledgeable more than anybody else around her about magic, the hidden, hidden world. So whoever this is, if this is somebody at work, 
they might turn to her for more advice closer to the end of October. I don't really think this reading is about this woman. I think it's about somebody who likes to work. That's what I really think this is about, okay? So I'm actually gonna pull a summary card here now. The storyteller, the storyteller. So I'm actually gonna look in the book exactly what this means. So we'll look at the numbers, 31. This is the old garden rose storyteller. You know what, maybe this could be somebody who's trying to tell themselves stories about their relationship and how good their life is, but honestly, all they really wanna do is work. They don't really like their relationships. They don't wanna be anywhere else. They feel ambivalent outside of the workplace. They feel like they're waiting for something, waiting, waiting, waiting for something that they want to come in to come in. So they're in essence lying about the quality of their life and all they really wanna do is work all day, okay? So let's see what the booklet has to say. Be aware of fact, fiction, and myth in accounts as the myths are folding in on the moment to blur the lines. Someone may be more than a little deceptive in their actions and motives. Mind you, there are positive notes to storytelling and you may find that living out a mythical daydream in some way enriches life right now. The storyteller lives for the passion of painting with words. They continue, they entwine you with their drama, but also their magic while making s some sort of sense. Lesson memorable moment in the mundane. What story are you living or telling yourself and how does it make you feel? And the astrological sign is Leo. No, a lot of Leos. Okay. Yes. What sort of story are you telling yourself and other people? It sounds like the storyteller makes a lot of drama because they're not happy in their own life. And the truth is they want to be at work and they don't want to deal with anybody. Well, it looks like they might turn to the high priestess later because she's so freaking smart. Okay. I hope that's helpful. Have a really great um, last day of September and I'll make an October video soon. Bye.